are so glad to be here with you today. It's been a long time since, and uh, it's just a pleasure to see you. And it feels so nice to present to you one of our very favorite uh, patterns, Miss America, uh, with you. The table set for six, and after uh, the program, there will be food and drink. Well, you want to know how we fell in love with the pattern. It was, oh, 44, seven years ago. And we went to Tacoma, Washington to visit his father and his stepmother. Al grew up in the house and uh, he has a lot of memories there. When we walked in, said hello, a few nice words, his mother and stepmother said, I found a, something for you in the cupboard. I just finished cleaning it. I'm going to get it, and I want to give it to you. It's a piece of glass. She came out with a plate, a salad plate, and said, this was your mother's. I want you to have it. Well, we took it. We felt that, that with our, in our heart what she did. We fell in love with the pattern, and we became addicted. That was the first piece of depression glass we've ever heard of, and it was just a pleasure. This America is a diamond platter, uh, pattern uh, made in Ohio at Hocking Glass Company in the years of 1935 and 1938. And, and again, those are the years we were born in, and that kind of attracts us to that too, to think that maybe our parents had that and maybe we ate off of that, like Al's mother with her plate. I want you to look at the table. It's set for six. It, you know, Miss America has 32 pieces in pink. There's more in crystal, less in green, and ice blue. And in royal ruby, there are a few pieces, but they are extremely expensive. Each piece is 200, 300, 350, $400. We don't have any of that. We had more uh, pieces of glass when we moved, before we moved to our, our little house. Uh, and like many of you know who helped us in that process, we sold it. So what we left is a nice serving for six people. In the center of the table, we have two swans for the centerpiece. We have Duncan, and this this piece I don't know, I don't know who made this piece of glass, but we love birds, we love swans, we love outdoor things, and we use them frequently, um, just to be our pleasure. We also have this beautiful oil lamp. This is not Miss America. It's a hot milk pattern, I do believe. And I found it, I found it in um, Westmoreland. They made two lamps that looked just like that, but they were electric, not oil. I cannot find this lamp in any book. Alan and I collect oil lamps. We've not been able to find it. But I think it's really nice and it goes right, right in with the other glass. Well, let's start at the table, the side table, and I'm going to bring up some uh, pieces that are not on the table and then we'll come back to a place setting. That was going to help me keep the pieces up or keep them down. He says, put it up, Pat. His fingers are going up. This is a goblet, a 10-ounce 
goblet and the value is $40. All these prices are from a book in 2014. So cream and sugar and that's $55. A compote, compote 30, so the nice ten inch vegetable bowl. It would hold a lot of vegetables. Um, so maybe mashed potatoes would look a little bit better in there or something else. We have a celery tray at 38. And a 12 inch platter. Maybe a whole little baked chicken. There are three goblets I want to show you. There are more in the book. Well, there aren't any more in the book. There's one more in the book. Uh, five and three quarter inch. 10 ounce glass, and this one has a Miss America sticker on it. That would take the value of, this is $35 in the book, but with the sticker, the price is more. So never take off your stickers. There's another little goblet here that's four and a half inches tall. I was going over and over. It's four and a half inches and it's uh, $35. The last little tumbler. I had no idea of the value when I saw this in the store and started buying them. This little four inch tumbler is for juice according to the book. The value is $75. Did we do the goblet? There's one goblet in the books and it's 10 ounces and it's $40. Okay, that does it for the side table. Let's go to the look at a pattern on the table. We have a sherbet plate. It's flat. It looks identical to the cup, the saucer, cup and saucer. It looks like the saucer plate. But this is smooth all the way across. The saucer plate has a ring in it, which you'll see. Um, you can also use this to put on a, a, a small piece of bread or a biscuit or something like that. But they call it a sherbet set. And the value for that is about the plate's nine and, and the uh, sherbet's ten. Nice and little notes here on the table to keep me in course.
This is a, they call this a cereal bowl. Well, boy, it's not very big, is it? It's not very deep. But I use it for sometimes for soup or something else that, I don't know. That's the fun part of these dishes. We can use them for anything we want to wish to use them for. This is an eight and a half inch plate. And take a look at the plates. This helps you distinguish them from English hobnail by looking at the bottom of them. These go all the way out. It's my salad plate. Or a little kid's plate when they come over. Grandchildren. This plate is 10, 10 and a half inches and it sells for about $40. They're not hard to wash. People worry, well, like, how do you wash that in there? Well, they don't get very dirty, actually. But you can just take a, a fine little brush and sweep through them. And with that now, with that on the, that table, for each person. I have a green um, spiral optic glass. And I think that it, by putting another touch of color in really helps your table. If this were all pink, it would look okay. But by putting something, a color, it draws your eyes to that place setting. And it helps the place setting, I think, look even better. Now, a couple of other things I want to share with you. We had this. Let me pick it up. This um, salt and pepper. Is it okay? okay? Salt and pepper. And it's on a little carrier. This little carrier is not Miss America. There was no carrier with this pattern. But we found it in a flea market, just like you do when you go shopping, and looking around, browsing, filling your addiction with more beautiful things. Um, for a couple of dollars, five dollars or so, we, we purchased that and thought maybe we can put our salt and peppers in it. And lo and behold, they are perfect, just perfect. Well, now let me talk about salt, salt and peppers for you. They both look alike. Can't really tell them much about them. This is a nice slender one. And now I'm going to check it to see if it's a reproduction. And by doing so, take off the lid, put your finger in, and it goes all the way to the bottom. Right to the bottom. This looks like it also. The same bottom. Four corners. Look at the corners sometimes. I bought one once and they had had chipped the corners. So they had gone around and made all the little corners um, kind of rounded. I didn't see that. It's amazing what they can do. Okay, well, I'm gonna check this to see if it's a reproduction. In goes the finger and it doesn't go all the way down. Can you see that? That's a reproduction. And I, before I knew how to do that, I had bought seven. Why seven? I don't know. And six of them were reproductions.
the other piece I want to show you is it would be the most expensive piece on the table. Can you see? It's uh, in booked at five hundred dollars, and that's booked for just the top. The bottom is actually a soup bowl. So the five hundred dollars is for the top, and now you can check this out also by take off. There's probably several ways of checking for this, but the easiest way to find out if it's a reproduction, take the lid, turn it over. And now I'm looking at the, the center of that dish and I'm going to feel it. There's no indentation in it. There should be right where the handle comes up. It's attached to it in the, the real thing. It dips down in there. This one actually goes up a little bit, and that is a reproduction. I bought this, this set at a, um, a garage sale in Royal Oak for about $55, and I was so excited because these are quite hard to find. And uh, I said, oh my gosh, I got to have it. $55. Oh, that's nothing. Took it to, I didn't have any books at that time. I had just a lot of ignorance about, about glass. So I took it to a little a store in Berkeley. And I said, I got this for $55. Is that a good price for this piece? She said, she took it off. She looked at it. She said, it's a reproduction. Well, the real thing at that time was about $100 for this lid. It is now $500, and uh, I can live with this. If you ever see a lid, lid though, for $100, $150, I'd probably buy it. So, that is the end. Cup, coffee cup. What? Cup oh, and I'm sorry. I'll, I'll say it. I forgot the cup and saucer. Thanks, Al. The saucer. You can see the ring in it. Of course, that keeps the cup from sliding around. The saucer is worth $8. And the cup is $30. $30. Now, I want to... I had an experience when I had a, a wedding reception at our home, and uh, it was uh, we had coffee, of course, and I had the spoons in the cups before I served them, and then I went, "Oh, that looks so bad." I put the spoon back, poured the coffee, the cup exploded. There was coffee everywhere. Do not. Put, I learned, I learned, do not put hot beverages in any cup without having a piece of metal in it. The metal kind of absorbs that heat and the cup stays in place. Is there anything else, Al? Well, hey, Jonathan, what, what are you saying to me? Oh, come on, Jonathan. I, you know, you're just fooling with me. He said, no, time's up. I said, well, what I said, I can't really repeat it here, but I said, that's not nice. That is not nice. We were going to have wine and food after the showing of the place setting, and now you say I have to go. Time's up. Well... Thank you very much for watching this class and for watching, uh, I don't know, just having fun with it. And uh, I'm really sorry I can't give you the wine and the food. So we have to say good night, have fun. And Al and I are going to say, be safe.
Be safe. Thank you.